There must be some sort of mistake. I'm not meant to be here. Your path has been set before you, Oxen. Hello there. Are you here in response to the bulletin about my factotum research? Fantastic. Now let me fill you in on the details. I found this factotum head in a junk pile, which isn't too uncommon for the brass fortress. I was intrigued, however, by its strange coloring. I was even more intrigued when it began to speak to me. It gave a repeated message, requesting to find its integral of memory in the mnemonic planisphere. That's where you come in. I need an adventuring sort to journey to the planisphere in order to find this component. Are you still interested? The journey to the mnemonic planisphere is riddled with dangers, so it's best to prepare. Shouldn't be any issues once you head inside, though. My research leads me to believe the integral of memory will resemble a crystal. Would you believe that the apostles don't know how to create factotums? That was a rhetorical question. The sad truth is that while we apostles can create metal limbs and motors, we cannot replicate the intelligence Sotha Seal gave the factotums. We're also unable to enter the factories where they're created. Why does Lord Set do anything? He's the father of mysteries, after all. Through his silence, curiosity is born. Perhaps he meant for us apostles to figure this one out on our own. And I believe I've finally found a breakthrough with this factotum. Firstly, I already know it is an older, simpler model. You can see the dwarven influences in the skull, an aesthetic blight by today's standards. We apostles see dwarves as a race to scorn, not emulate. This model must predate that thinking. Secondly, unlike other factotums, it openly speaks of its components. Trust me, I've interrogated many of these machines in the name of my research. Perhaps as we reconstruct its mind, it will tell us details about its creation. And thirdly, well, its voice. Factotums are genderless machines, of course, but they all sound distinctly female. This one is the first I've met to have a male voice. I'm not sure what it means, but I am sure I'll find answers as I further my research.
so facile. Is there anything I can retrieve for you? A book, perhaps? Something to eat? Expect me to believe this is so boring. Yeah. It's an elaborate. as to insert it into my forehead, Ridge. You've returned in one piece. How gleaming! In your absence, I've set up a framework to contain the factotum while we assemble its parts. I'll have you do the honors.
of installing the integral of memory. You heard the head? Insert the crystal into its forehead ridge. And don't worry, you won't break it. Sotha Seal builds his creations to last. Positively spring loaded now. What a kind, generous apostle you are, which I recall is rather strange. Reflecting, reflecting. I've come to the conclusion that I am. I have no memory stored of any of my kind who are older, so I conclude that I must be the first. How gleaming. I cannot recall my name, but you may call me Precursor. Of course, let me check my integral of memory. Should be right. Great Sotha seal in the sanctum. Someone's tampered with my crystalline memory matrix. But wait, something's burned in here. I seem to have left a note for myself. Ahem. Salutations, me. By now you must be wondering what happened to our memory. Dark forces have conspired to corrupt our knowledge of the world. But do not fear. I, the past you, have stored our memory in our other parts. A circumstance I have not accounted for. This is me now, uh, not the message. I recall that my design includes both Dwemer and Clockwork parts. I also recall my blueprint, so I can guide my assembly once you find my parts. So the seal guide you, Apostle. I don't quite understand. I function only to know my Lord so the seal and his Apostles. You are not my Lord, and thus you must be an Apostle. Simple. Do you have an inquiry, or perhaps a task for me, Apostle? Astounding! The first factotum Sotha Seal created! We simply must complete construction now. The more memory it recalls, the further my research can develop. Council seat, here I come! The Precursor mentioned he was made of clockwork and Dwemer parts. I'd keep an eye out for the former as you travel around Clockwork City and search Dwemer Ruins out in Tamriel for the latter. And of course, I have your reward as promised. Apostle, I have remembered something. Come quickly before it rusts. Ah, oh, the sounds and smells of Morrowind. I know these lands like the back of my hand. My left hand, to be exact. Lord Sotha Seal deemed it uncouth to give my parts eyes, but each has a wide array of sensors. I can orient myself on Nern by the air's smell and the Earth's feel. Why, my pelvis even has gustatory sensors. I suspect that's Lord Vivek's contribution. I mean, of course, I have no proof that he had a part in my creation, but I like to think so. My dramatic flair, my poetic soul, it helps set me apart from the rest of my siblings. To sense, to touch, to feel, what gifts I have been given. 